back to my film and TV channel. You all stay safe and well. We've got another episode of So Far So. Hmm, yes, but we have a look at something where I've not been able to binge watch it because they're showing it weekly. So we've got an eight episode series, a season four this one. So it's been on before, but I thought I'd have a look and uh, share with you my thoughts. And they've been a little bit up and down with this one, I'll be honest with you. Uh, something I initially uh, really enjoyed and perhaps not enjoying quite as much. Uh, but uh, yeah, a few surprises which uh, sort of pulled me back in. So we're going to have a talk about the boys today, of course. Uh, Sort of made you sort of uh, quite quite clever when it first came out. Season one, interesting uh, premise, of course. It's not it's been done before, similar things, but uh, uh, it's just a very powerful and grabbed you, grabbed you, didn't it? Grabbed your attention. So we'll have to go look at the fourth season anyway. We've got four episodes in of the eight. Of course, it's an American satirical superhero television series. And I say I watched the fourth episode and the final one of this review on June the 21st. Yeah, I think it aired on June the 20th. And there's four more to go from between the 27th of June and July the 18th. So you can catch up on this with Amazon Prime, certainly here in the UK. Check your territories. Uh, just a quick, uh, just on screen there, guys, just before we take a look at the boys uh, season four, just to shout out, shout out, shout out to all posh to my friends at uh, Two Hand Stationery. That's a great set of black pens I've been advertising for a little while. Uh, descriptions below on below and of course on screen there uh, type in the link and the voucher code on checkout and a, a set of pens brilliant i won't need any more pens again that usually set you back 12.99 on site are £8.49 you put in that voucher code that's on screen uh, or in the description below and you'll get for less than seven quid cheapest chips that includes postage as well so uh, treat yourself guys it's a great gift or just just treat yourself yeah just a great gift for other people if you like drawing or a name scrapbooking you name it i write labels and write little hard copy notes and when I'm doing my reference studying and uh, that's researching stuff I always do uh, handwritten things sometimes so yeah fill your boots guys uh, give, give them your support as they've supported the channel as well right back to uh, the boys season four uh, we've got uh, yes everyone's reprising the roles in this one you've got Carl Urban, Jack Quaid, Anthony Starr, Erin Moriarty Jason, Jesse, Jason, Jesse T. Usher, Laz Alonso, Chase Crawford, Toma Capone, there's a great name, Karen F Fukuhara, not so great to say, Nathan Mitchell, Colby Minifee, uh, Claudia Dumit, Cameron Crevetti, Val Valerie Curry, and Susan Haywood. Who wouldn't want to come back into it, apart from the guys who get murdered off, of course. And the plot, well, in this season, Victoria Newman is closer than ever to the Oval Office and under the control of Homelander. With only months to live, Billy Butcher and his awful accent, I'm afraid, is still there. It's probably the most annoying thing in this this series, Billy Butcher, uh, with his sort of New Zealand stroke Cockney accent that is just pretty awful. It does, it does ruin it a little bit, I'll be absolutely honest with you. Uh, Billy Butcher must find a way to work with the boys if they want to save the world. It's not happening, is it? Uh, released, of course, all the episodes, first three I think, uh, released, oh, I think they did two and the one, didn't they, anyway, uh, they certainly might have done all three on the 13th of June, and then the fourth one appeared on the 20th of June, yeah, that's how they did it, isn't it? so you got to watch three, and then the extra one, and that's when I'm doing this review, I do like the boys, guys, my thoughts on this, it's in danger at times, certainly in this series, we're getting a little bit tiresome, the stuff that was sort of clever in the early series is becoming a little bit routine in this and the elements to try and shock you are just daft sometimes, just just not, not shocking, just a bit pathetic. Um, so it's trying to reproduce the stuff that made the early series refreshing, but then it's repeating itself with some of the things, so not great. In episode two, for instance, there's uh, nothing to be gained by showing there's an action scene with a, a stark, bollard, naked guy, uh, Soup, cloning himself continuously to join in a Soup fight. But, I mean, it's just unnecessary. It's just monotonous for me. It's not clever. It's not funny. A naked man uh, wandering around with his, with his weapon out. Um, it's just not really shocking or funny. So, them sort of things for me are a little bit needless now. It needs to be a little bit cleverer, perhaps, on the script rather than silly things like that. And Homelander himself is coming a little bit unwatched for me in, in what he was doing and then he sort of dragged me back in with a uh, certainly episode four I won't to give you any uh, I won't ruin it by giving you too much but I, I was going a bit tired of him in episode four as a cracker 
so he brought he brought me back into this and of course it's a mirror on events today it's it's obvious uh, in the US anyway uh, and still has its moments so obviously I think the let's put the I will not spoiler alert but there's a thing Christ let's put the back Christ back in Christmas musical on ice feature or snippet story uh, that for me was one of the standouts in this series as I said all of episode four was though, I quite you know I was a bit mixed on episodes one to three but four really dragged me back into liking this so small complaints aside I think it's okay I think it's fine I'm not gonna go mad with the score because I said I was a bit uh, un unimpressed with a lot of what was going on in episodes one to three but four itself I've probably got a seven and a half eight, eight out of ten for me but I have to allow for the facts of the other three as well. So my scores for this, I'll definitely be, still be fresh. I'll definitely still be positive on Metacritic. And I'm going to give it a health fit. And it could grow this if, if they repeat the episode four over the next four episodes. I'm just going to give it a 6.5. But I'll be very willing for that to go to a 7 or even a 7.5 if it carries on uh, the same way that it finished uh, episode four. Other people, yes, of course, it's hard to isolate Internet Movie Database scores because obviously it's for the whole thing. But if you look at Rotten Tomatoes, you've got Season 4 is getting a 95% approval rating from the 80 reviewers, an average of 7.65 out of 10, so they did like it. The website's consensus, boxing in the political arena with a bloody smile, the boys' fourth season is grim and even a little glum while holding up a crack mirror towards modern society. Yes, Homeland has got a crack mirror as well in this. On Metacritic, again, positive. 76 out of 100 based on 22 critics. So there you go, guys. Uh, yeah, so far, so so good for me. Yeah, so but still still very, very watchable. Uh, how, many, how, how, how long that will go on? I have no idea, but we'll soon see, won't we? But these sort of things only usually last four, five, six seasons, don't they? So we'll have to see on that one. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys, if, you, if you're watching this. It'd be great to hear from you. And please, if you do look through the channel, you'll see stuff on my football team as well, Manchester City. So if that's of any interest, or you know somebody might be interested, give me a kick in my direction. And as an individual, if you're an individual or part of an organisation, if you like what I try and do, and you want to support the channel or sponsor me in any way, I'm always open there for a chat, so we'll see what we can do for each other. So message me through YouTube, or you can contact me through the uh, my various socials, of course, where I post lots of football, well, particularly Manchester City, England sometimes. And, of course, I do film and TV on there, post stuff on there. On X and TikTok, I'm at the same address, at Bernard underscore Deneen. I'm on Facebook, just at Bernard Deneen. And, of course, you can just email me as well, guys. There's an email up there. If you want to, if you want to have a chat about anything, uh, just, just email me. It'd be fantastic and the same to get in touch. Get in touch about the boys or anything to do with film and TV. It's always great to uh, get your views on stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Until we meet again, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.